Hey everyone, I'm Chef David Myers and welcome to GQ Middle East. My aha moment when I finally was like, oh my gosh, I have to be in the restaurant world. I want to be a chef. I want to open my own restaurant. Was when I was cooking dinner for some friends. It was in college and I realized that I had an exam the next day. I hadn't studied for it at all and yet I was still completely immersed in this new cookbook that I could not get out of my head. It was amazing. And so I was trying to cook six different dishes out of that book for some friends for a little dinner party that night. And that is when I realized maybe I should not be focusing on international business with school. Maybe I should be focusing on cooking and being a chef. So that was the moment where I literally decided to go all in and just throw away the idea of school for the moment and just put all of my energy into becoming a chef. Best move I ever made. Well, my Instagram handle is Gypsy Chef, and uh, it's funny because people always ask me, why Gypsy Chef? What is that? And where did you get that name? And actually, I didn't come up with it. A good friend of mine did. We, um, we run talks on a TV show, and I happened to be flying to Tokyo, and I was flying on to Singapore, and then to Sri Lanka, and he's like, man, you are a Gypsy Chef. You are just, I can't even keep track of you. You are in a different place all the time. And it's funny because I look back and it was a very defining moment in terms of the direction that I wanted to go as a chef. As chefs you get so many different influences of inspiration and for me travel is my number one source of inspiration. So to be able to travel around the world, see different cultures and cuisines and then to bring that back into my own style of cooking has made all the difference in the world. And so that's really where the whole gypsy chef um, name and phenomenon comes behind. So I do have restaurants all over the world and I'm always asked where is home and so in this particular case I would say LA is home. I've been in LA for uh, for a long time, longer than I've been anywhere else I'd have to say, longer than even where I grew up and uh, LA will always be home but I would say Tokyo is a close second and then third, which is very close to the second, is wherever my restaurants are. So you'll find me on the road close to 49 weeks out of the year, uh, touching the restaurants, being in there, seeing our guests, working with the team, creating new dishes. I mean, that's my real passion and love, and I love what I do, so it's not a chore. I'm excited to be able to be out in different areas of the world, and certainly love to get out and to explore as often as I can in between all of those work trips. What's interesting is I travel more around the world and get to experience different cultures and the type of food that they do. The one thing that I've realized is common everywhere in the world is that people love to eat. And when you eat and you're breaking bread at the table, it's a time where politics and any problems in the world, they just go out the door. It's a time of friendship and community. And that's one of the things I love about food. It brings people together. It's almost like the olive branch always. It brings people together. Um, I do notice sometimes that there, there are little different nuances in, in many cultures, of course. The level of salt in one culture versus the level of fat in another versus the, the type of taste that they have if they like spicy, they don't like spicy, or they like bitter or sour. You know, these are some things that I've noticed over the years that some cultures, some countries have a little bit more of an intensity towards, they want that. But in general, the one thing that I always recognize is, is that people want great food, they want to enjoy a good conversation around a meal, and they're passionate about it. So now I would love to prepare something really cool from Blue Blanc that I think you will find really easy. It's something you can cook at home and uh, it tastes so good. The dish that I'm going to prepare for you is one of our signature dishes at Blue Blanc. It's a dish that many of our guests, they just go crazy over. We love to cook over live fire here. So we always have a fire going with the wood. It makes it feel a bit cozy. And you could do this at home just on a grill. It doesn't even have to be a wood fired grill. It could be gas. It works nicely. But we love to do a little bit of grill grilled Alaskan King crab leg with a bird noisette, which is a brown butter sauce, some capers, and a little bit of chili right over top. It's beautiful, it's sweet, and the crab is amazing. <laughs> 